Make these beautiful greeting cards and matching gift boxes out of acrylic painted papers. You can find links to the videos on how I make these painted papers in the description. So let's start with the supplies you need to, to make cards. I usually buy some, you know, pack of cards and envelopes. Comes in different sizes. This is the large size and this is the smaller size. And you know, that comes with envelopes, so it's real simple. Or you can make your own cards. Another option, something I do, is buy these that I just think are not personal enough. You know, thank you. Um, and I use that, because this pack was $1.50 for eight cards. Usually find them, you know, on sale somewhere, <laughs> lots of times. And then I'll customize them with my artwork. So the other supplies, you can use tacky glue or a pH adhesive here um, to glue stuff down. But what my favorite thing, and so what happens with this is you get a little rippling. If I do, if I use glue like in my collages, then I stick it under books immediately after I'm finished working on it. And that usually helps because it's drying while it's completely flat. When it's drying, you know, it looks good when you glue it and then you come back and it's sort of curled. I can show you one. Here's one that I've glued and it's just a little bit curled. And if I had glued this whole piece down, sometimes it's a little rippled or, or curled. This one isn't too bad, but I probably stuck it under books right after I glued it. So that's my advice on that. The other supply I really love is double tack mounting film. Um, and it comes in a pack actually with only three sheets in here. I saved this piece of uh, cardstock because I use it to cut out a window to look for these um, compositions in my colored paper. But this double tech mounting film is really great. And um, I even save all the scraps and use them. So here's my envelope with all these scraps. Other, this was another, um, Scrapbooking supply, keep a memory mounting adhesive. It's two-sided uh, mounting film. So these are all my scraps and you can piece them together and use them um, until you use it all up. That's what I say, use those supplies up. So this is my favorite supply here, but I definitely use glues for collage so they can be used for greeting cards as well. So if, if you want to make your own greeting cards, you're going to cut your card stock or paper down to the size that you want. This is just a inexpensive watercolor paper. You can use really nice paper or card stock that you get at the craft store. This is um, about eight by five and a half. Then I'm going to mark the middle. Now, if you want to be really precise in using this cutting board or cutting mat underneath, and that's just so I can make sure that my score line is correct so that when it folds, it's not out of alignment. So I'm just scratching this real light and then it should fold nicely. So I like to have the greeting card um, have a border like this. So I'm cutting out of my painted papers a slightly smaller rectangle and gluing it on so it has a border. You can decide if you like this look. And here you can see I have a smaller border or a larger border, whichever look you like, but I tend to do that with all my cards. Um, so what I do is cut out out of the card stock. This is just the thing that I took out of the double tech mounting film. I'm going to cut a window that is this size. So then I can use that to look for things in, in my painted papers that I would want to use um, as a greeting card.
So here's the reason why I go to the trouble of making these windows. Call them windows. <laughs> Cutouts um, in the size of the cards. So I can sort through my paint and papers and frame out things that I think are interesting. So I also might even put a couple things together and see if they work together. Here I have a painted paper that I've done a bunch of work on. There's some marker drawings, layers of acrylic and ink. And um, this would be great for lots of different greeting cards. So I would just use these cutouts to find areas that I like for the greeting card. And then what I could also do, because there's enough of it, is I could use it on the top of a box to create a um, matching box for the gift, a gift box. So you always have these gift boxes and they have the, um, you know, they're stamped with the name of where you bought them from and here I've used it for something so I've labeled it. So I'm gonna transform it into a little gift box that doesn't need any gift wrap and you can give it with say a matching greeting card or even coordinating. So, you know, sometimes I wanna save the paper, so I'm gonna use the edge here, but if I think, you know, something else makes a better composition, I'll go ahead and cut it out because I'll use this scrap, you know, for something else. So it's just a matter of deciding what I like. I'm going for the small card because sometimes um, you just get an interesting composition. It doesn't have to be really big. So I usually just make little marks in the corner with a pencil. Then I'm going to go to the double-sided, um, it's called double tack mounting film, and I'm going to mark with pencil piece here. So now I'm going to cut that out, and I'm cutting it slightly within the lines, you know, slightly smaller. It's pretty good, yeah, it's gonna fit good if, as long as I get it on straight. So I flip this over and I pick this up and I'm gonna peel the backing on this first side. It's the hardest part, just getting it started. I should get it started on the wrong side. Okay, so I got it. This is the back and I just peel it down about an inch and I fold it and then I want to make sure that this is lined up at the bottom right and that it's straight and then I stick that down that top thing but I want to make sure that I don't get this crooked at the top or the bottom I can see that it's going to fit perfectly but I've only stuck that first uh, inch at the top and then I peel back the rest and just go along. All right, so we got that. And so now I wanna stick it to my card. Now you could make little pencil marks and stuff to make sure you get it stuck down correctly, but I don't bother doing that. I kind of eyeball it again. So the next thing I'm gonna do is peel back the, the next, the other side. And I do the same thing. I only peel it back an inch and I fold it. And then I match up, you know, 
the border at the bottom and the top. So I eyeball this. Okay, stick down the top and peel this and stick it. Peel it and stick it. Okay. Now I did notice a little bit of my pencil from earlier. So with a nice, oops, nice clean white eraser, just go in there and get rid of any pencil that might be on the corners. So there's my card, and I think it would be cool to make a matching um, box. So I could cut a window the size of this box if I wanted to, or I can just sort of guess. Play with that. Maybe that would work. That scrap. So I think I'll just mark that and work with that. to decorate the uh, top of the box here with some scraps. So I'm using a scrap of this double sided mounting tape and I'm gonna put it, let's see what the dimensions are here. So I cut the mounting film the same size as the scrap paper that I'm using and I stick that on the back and then I'm just cutting random shapes and peeling and sticking them like stickers.
If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks so much for watching.